Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today, all of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Taylor Swift's Grammy performance was one big nightmarish tribute to an MK Ultra favorite, Alice in Wonderland. The music industry apparently never ever tires of referring to it. In this pic, we see Taylor and the White Rabbit, as in follow the White Rabbit through the looking glass, a trigger phrase to encourage dissociation and mind control. The performance featured a whole lot of dualistic black and white patterns, widely used in mind control. Here, we see a poor guy being tortured on a hypnotic pattern wheel, MK Galore. There was also a guy with a one-eye thing going on, at the right of the pick, and a puppet being controlled by a giant handler, yup, MK Galore. Carrie Underwood's performance ended with a bunch of monarch butterflies leaving her dress, the ultimate symbol for monarch programming. The song she was performing, Blown Away, is about her killing an abusive father, something that can refer to the concepts of trauma-based MK and dissociation. The music video of the song also subtly refers to The Wizard of Oz, an MK programming tool. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The photo shoot entitled, Surrealismo de los Pies a la Cabeza, Surrealism from Head to Toe, appeared in Bizarre Espana, and is chock full of mind control symbolism. Here's Mata Eugenia Valadina, is a picture evoking duality and confusing reflections, two important techniques in MK programming. The dull versions of the model can allude to an alter persona. Here we have two opposing personas blinding each other. Eyes hidden, mask, representing an alter persona. Gotta do the one eye thing in this occult elite mind control photoshoot. Gotta do it again, to make sure the message is understood. And again for those that are really slow to understand. Do the gloves on the model's head represent the handlers messing with her mind? Standing on a checkerboard pattern floor, the model is wearing red, symbol of sacrifice. The model appears in pain, and the image is torn at the level of her face, representing the fracturing of her personality. Yes, all of the imagery was found in a single photoshoot. Speaking of checkerboard pattern floors, here's Rihanna performing at SNL. The backdrop was very stunning, complete with a checkerboard pattern floor at Twin Pillars. The cover of the single marble floors by rapper French Montana features the exact same imagery. Why be different when you can be a pawn? This Vogue Japan photoshoot puts a whole lot of emphasis on the concepts of alter personas and duality. Both are important concepts in mind control. Two identical models looking robotic and lifeless on the checkerboard floor plus stripes on the wall. Yup, that's MK. The setting of that photoshoot is disturbingly similar to this painting by Kim Noble, a monarch programming survivor. In the painting, there are indeed two identical girls, probably alter personas, the checkerboard floor and strep walls. This proves that a lot of imagery in fashion shoots is directly inspired by monarch programming and its M in control techniques. The fashion set in Zero Sense features a lot of MK related symbolism. Even this title page has a bunch of butterflies, which can hint to monarch programming. The models of the set are actually an amalgamation of many different women, eyes from one, lips from another, etc. 
the result is rather creepy, but it somewhat goes perfectly with the theme of mind control and its dehumanization techniques. And this girl has Baphomet horns as a hairdo. In this image, the girl has a typewriter on her chest. If one would type of on it, the letters would hit the model right on her mouth. Is she an MK slave being told what to say? Also, notice the skulls around, or nose missing, symbolizing death and the loss of power. Of course, one of the model's eyes is hidden. Paris Hilton's ex-boyfriend, River Via Perry, hiding one eye, and doing the sign of the hidden hand. Hard to ignore this hand sign combo. In case you didn't watch my past video about hidden hand, you should, it's great, here's what Masonic books depict the sign of the Master of the Veil. Rob Kardashian also feels the urge to hide one eye while posing for a pic. French singer Maline Farmer has to do it too. The ad for Britney's perfume refers to the occult concept of duality. It is very similar to the Seal of Solomon, a Kabbalistic symbol representing duality, and the Hermetic saying, as above, so below. In Monarch Mind Control, something Britney probably knows about, duality is used to program individuals, where there's a good and a bad girl. This is Rihanna again, performing with a big eye of Horus on her chest. Does she know about the deeper meaning of these symbols? Not sure. One thing is for sure. Those who handle her, definitely do. Dared Leto posing with creepy ass Terry Richardson. You know about that hand sign. You know about that hand sign too. Very original Jared, keep it up, I'm proud of you. Another pop star rocking the Church of Satan logo, Key de Larson Ha. Biggie as Alia's video Back to the Future features a monarch butterfly on one eye, a blatant reoccurring symbol of monarch programming. But wait, maybe it's an accident. Sometimes butterflies land on people's eyes while they're shooting a music video. It happens. Maybe this is also an accident. Well, if she's gonna use that image for the cover of her mixtape plus a bunch of butterfly wings around her, I'd say that this monarch mind control symbolism is there on purpose. XXL Magazine features rapper Big Sean hitting one eye and showing you why he's living the good life. Azealia Banks in her video, Atlantis, is eager to throw up occult elite symbolism whenever she can. Lee Michelle in Flair magazine. This pic contains several symbols referring to mind control. Checkerboard floor, bird cage, animal prints, referring to ex-kitten programming. This promotional ad for the European Union is pretty weird. It combines symbols of several religions into a single star with a saying. We can all share the same star. This is a rather apt way of representing all world religions merged together for the elites and W.O. Furthermore, why is there hammer and sickle of communist USSR? It is not a religion. This is rather odd, but fitting, when we know that the N.W.O. is intended to become one big totalitarian world system. The logo of BBC's Children in Need Foundation is a teddy bear with one eye hidden. Knowing that the BBC is covered up for decades Jimmy Savile's abuse on children, it is somewhat fitting that their logo also represents occult elite mind control. In the movie Les Miserables, the symbol of the all-seeing eye, cleverly placed on the sign of an optician, appears in a prominent fashion in the scenes where the revolution was brewing. In some scenes, not pictured here, the eye is actually more prominent than the actors. Considering the fact that the Bavarian Illuminati was an important factor in the French Revolution, the presence of this symbol is rather appropriate, and a reminder of what truly went on in those days, for those in the know. This is a strange pic posted on Beyoncé's Instagram. It could refer to something as trivial as a bad relationship, or to the very dark side of taking an oath for fame and fortune with the music industry. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.